It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one. As will be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, some Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating as Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15. And that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out playing Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Justin Tucker all set, and we are set to see the cream of the crop in the AFC as we are underway here with the Ravens and the Chiefs. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Mahomes to throw on second down. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down at seven. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Second down and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's James. Seven yards there on the first down. See the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. 
Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now it's Mahomes again. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Richie James there to make the grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. He just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but the only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, and, that and he feels like he can get it done. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now at his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. Here's the fourth year man, J.K. Dobbins. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Jackson now. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. 
Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. To throw is Jackson. down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 40. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. He's a talented runner and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first and ten it's Dobbins and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at him. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now a second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try to keep this series going. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Throwing is Jackson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Karloftis brought his relentless motor from Purdue to Kansas City. Six sacks, a couple fumble recoveries as a rookie. They expect him to continue to expand his game in his second season. Tucker's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of the route, too. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
but it winds up falling incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Looking to throw is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Travis Kelsey. He may go. Travis Kelsey. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey. 81 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film that should be accompanied by bass music, right? I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. set to take over here for their second possession of the game. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3 and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Jackson. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Only three yards on the pickup. They'll be left staring at a third and 14. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Hurley did everything to hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now brings up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Kadarius Toney deep for KC. It's fielded at the 45. Fights loose. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Short throw held in by Kelsey. Call it a gain of 40 on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Now Mahomes throwing on second down. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. 
So the completion good for just three. And it's third and four now. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And he hits the upright, but it carries in anyway. Plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And they will stretch the lead down to 17-3. to The distance wasn't the problem, but he did need some help from the right upright, and he got it, a little kiss and in. Yeah, unfortunately caught on the inside of the upright, and that pushed it through. This isn't like a baseball foul pole where you hit any part of it and it counts. It's got to go through the post. If he hits it on the outside, that's no good. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven. Now it's Jackson. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of his defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Jackson. Across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now Jackson on first down. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. He's got his man. It's Andrews. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five. They go back to the ground with Dalvin. Shifts by him. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. And the Ravens are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Dobbins he is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure handed target. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he'll get it. Touchdown, Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group... They tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that slices the lead down to following the touchdown. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Chiefs. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. Others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. Let's try this 
once again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Taken at the goal line. And now the little across the 25 to the 27. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. A short one there, caught by Likely. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here now, second and four. Jackson. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Oh, they certainly be on the top. What's going on with that one for sure? Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense. They couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw. Jackson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter Duvernay now going to bring it out pushing his way through the Raven offense set to start this third quarter by no means certainly are they out of this contest two score games start in the third quarter but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Dobbins trying the left side. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 55 yards on the ground for him so far. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he stopped immediately there. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Second and ten. Another run here with Dobbins. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the 46, here's second down and eight. Jackson now. Swings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. The quick feet by Jackson. Touchdown! It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Tucker with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 24-17. Tucker now. Kick it away following the touchdown. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try to make sure that momentum stays in your camp. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to find his tight end Gray complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and six now. Here's Pacheco headed right. Shoves him aside. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Target to James. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. James has got it. Complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard game, second and two. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from to a secondary target for a really nice game. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. But he's certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now Mahomes. And he'll just get rid of it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. On the ground, it's Gray. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. To three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in his third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half. 
and take over. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here comes the Raven offense now ready for another possession. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They go play action with Jackson. They're able to locate Andrews here on the out route. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From the 41, here's a second down and four. Now Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively, because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He finds his target, Beckham. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver... And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game Previous like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. 
Tucker now for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. A drive that time of six plays. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. Because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Mahomes. And look at this. They get the title they need it. It's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Queen, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The Ravens ready to take over. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Dobbins running out of the gun. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the wide, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Play action. It's Jackson. He completes it to Beckham. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. They go play action now. Jackson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely. A five-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have taken a fourth quarter lead. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. What does that four mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, but we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It, it seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. Yeah. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Meanwhile, the home's throw here complete to Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. Has his man, that's James. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Mahomes. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense. Good tackling. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. It worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter's telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. Here's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for 
sure they get the first and save the timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Mahomes will throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll come up now on second down. Mahomes. First and goal. Mahomes. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game. This has been and what a drive that was Charles to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter and partner that's a job well done by everyone from the players to the guys calling the plays and if I may introduce just one downside to the mix might be a little bit too much time left enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away extra point by Bunker is on target so it's now a three point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 34-31, 35 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Jackson. Dalvin's with it. And he'll be taken down after a gain of eight. And defensively, they'll say, you can have that. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. They come up now on second and two. Throwing Jackson. Connecting with Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Jackson to throw. His throw incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Here's second down. Down Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. 
And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Sports. For more, log on to EA